getting this area here in western Iowa. That's something that's interesting. Um, good outflow boundary, recovering moisture, or moistening, recovering boundary layer scenario there. Could be a, a focus area of concern. Um, definitely seeing signal for storms developing out of Montana into Bismarck's area as well. This area in western Iowa, is, it's, it's catching my eye for sure. Um, as far as some recovering boundary layer, hail, wind, tornado deal. Um, this one's a tough one. You know, this area here, once you get over some of the, I think, con convectively contaminated air, probably reinforced anticyclone probably could trim away a bit in parts of the Dakotas into Nebraska over here to kind of highlight where I think lapse rates are going to be steepest. The question of having a slight area through eastern Nebraska, western Iowa is on the table. I'm going to look at a couple of the things like some of the uh, Nissel Wharf guidance, for instance. Probably look at some of the um, hail guidance neighborhood probabilities. We can use a couple of the uh, hail options as well, suggesting pretty good focused corridor southeast Nebraska, western Iowa, perhaps into Topeka's area as well. Tend to make some level of sense. This is day one period. You can see convectively enhanced corridor here, convective system moves south, implied outflow boundary is going to extend somewhere through here, intersect whatever baroclinic trough in that vicinity here with decent looking cells there in central and western Iowa. I'm going to consider a 15 area. It's going to be somewhat dependent on exactly what recovery that we can get behind this MCS. With the wave passing by, pretty good signal through here for destabilization. A small 15 may be warranted. That would be the area that's going to probably be least convectively contaminated early on and most likely to recover. See how well this aligns with some of the other guidance. Some agreement with this. Even some of these soundings up here. Western Dakotas look good. Low level flow is weak. We're talking about mainly a hail risk. If I were to consider a 15, it would go something, be a focused high plains corridor. And I probably wouldn't want to go north of the marginal that we had previously, so we don't double upgrading for something that's not the highest confidence. Might go into South Dakota. Pull up a GFS over here. I'm looking at day one convective scenario. Definitely southwest Iowa. Definitely a good signal out in South Dakota into Nebraska. I'm going to preliminarily go with something like this, just looking at the latest. Uh, Cleanest indications, there's definitely going to be a broader area of threat thinking here. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll ponder this some more. But this may be um, you know, a couple lobes of better threat here, where it's more likely to destabilize in Iowa and southeast Nebraska, and then um, out in western South Dakota.